Hello students, I am Dr. Sarika Panwar. Today we will discuss the Huffman coding in information theory and coding techniques. In our previous lecture, we have discussed the prefix coding. Huffman code is important class of prefix coding. It is a variable length source code. We will discuss one numerical to understand the Huffman code, how that algorithm works and how it forms the source code that we will discuss by using this example. In this example, we observe that there are five symbols S0, S1, S2, S3 and S4 having probabilities 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 respectively. Okay students, now we will solve one example of Huffman coding where we will assign the code words to these symbols having probability 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. Now, uh, what is the first step of uh, Huffman coding? We have to arrange the symbols in decreasing order of their probability and we have already done it. Okay. Now, uh, in next stage, we have to add these two uh, probabilities and assign 0 and 1 here. Once we add this probability, we have to uh, transfer this addition answer to the next stage and addition of these two probabilities 0.2 and again in next stage also we have to follow the same procedure arrange the probabilities in decreasing order but um, we know that addition of these two probability is 0.2 and we will arrange it above this 0.2 okay and these two will be propagated in next stage so here it is 0.2 and this 0.2 will be propagated here okay so now in stage 2 there are only four probabilities so we will add these two probabilities again so we have to assign 0 and 1 and addition answer we will propagate in next stage so here addition is 0.4 and again the same rule we have to follow arrange the probability in decreasing order okay so sorry it is 0.2 and this is 0.2 Okay, so add these two probabilities. Answer is 0 0.6. Assign 0 and 1. Propagate in next stage. It is 0 0.6 higher than 0 0.4. So here we will write and 0 0.4 will be transferred to the next stage. And now the addition of these two probabilities is 1. So we will stop here. Now we have to assign the code words to these symbols S0, S1, S2, S3 and S4. These are the symbols. Okay. So, we have to follow one predefined procedure here. Okay. We will first assign the path to each and every symbol. Okay. So, now for assigning the code word to 0.4, we will follow this path. This is the path first we have followed and now assign the code word. So here we reach to 0.6 and 0.6 uh, uh, bit is assigned as 0. So it is this 0 will be considered in this path and this 0. So code word for S0 is 0, 0. Now for S1 we will follow this path. See students carefully you see the path which I am following. For S1 in stage 2 we will take this path. Okay, so we are reaching to stage 4 with a bit 1. So we will take this 1 and this 0. So code word for S1 is 1, 0. Now we will assign the code word to S2. So again we will follow this path. Path for S2, it is this. Uh, 0.2 in stage 2 then huh. now uh, see uh, for S2 uh, this 1 then this 1 ok so S2 code word is 1 1 ok now uh, for S3 S3 we have to follow this path 
this point 1 where 0 is assigned then follow this arrow this point 2 where 1 is assigned and this point 6 where 0 is assigned ok so if we take this path 0 this 1 and 0 so code word is 0 1 0 now for S4 S4 we will start for from here so it is 1 point 2 this point 2 where 1 is assigned and this point 6 where 0 is assigned ok so this 0 this 1 and 1 so code word for S0 is 011. These are the code words and we can see the length of this code word. For S0 it is 2 bit, for S1 it is 2 bit, for S2 it is 2 bit, for S3 3 bit and for S4 also it is 3 bit. Now we will find the average code word length. Why we need to find the average code word length? Because uh, these symbols, every symbol is having the different length, length of symbol S0 is 2 bit, S1 is 2 bit, S3 is 3 bit, S4 is 3 bit. So for this purpose we find the average length of the code word. So the, the formula for average length of the code word is summation from k is equal to 0 to k minus 1 probability of kth symbol into code word length of that particular symbol. Probability of symbol S0 is P0 which is 0.4 into length of the code word of symbol S0 is L0 suppose plus P1 L1 plus P2 L2 plus P3 L3 plus P4 L4. <coughs> so P0 is P0 is 0 0.4 into length of the symbol is 2. Length of the symbol S0 is 2. So P1 it is 0.2 into 2 plus 0.2 into 2 again. plus 0.1 into 3 plus 0.1 into 3 so here if you calculate this L bar will be equal to 2.2 so average code word length for this particular symbols is 2.2. Now we find the entropy of the specified discrete memoryless source H bar that is the entropy of the, of the discrete memoryless source which is emitting these symbols S0 to S4. It is calculated as H is equal to summation from K is equal to 0 to K minus 1 P of K log to the base 2 1 over P of K. So it comes out to be H is equal to 0 0.4 log to the base 2 1 over 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 log to the base 2 1 over 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 log to the base 2 1 over 0 0.2 plus 0 
log 2 1 over 0 0.2 sorry 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 log to the base 2 1 over 0 0.1 so if you calculate this you will get answer 2.12193 bits so that is the entropy of that discrete memory list source which is generating these all symbols S0 to S4 and if you find the percentage efficiency then it is H divided by L bar what is H? it is 2.12193 divided by L bar is 2.2 so the efficiency <coughs> comes out to be 96.43 percent Huffman coding we have discussed we have seen the problem also when numerical we solved now see Huffman encoding process is not unique in following ways we have seen that at each uh, splitting stage uh, we construct the Huffman code but there there is arbitrariness in the way a 0 and 1 are assigned uh, to last source symbols okay we assign 0 and 1 la to last source symbols but if we reverse it if we assign 1 and 0 then there may be the difference in the Huffman code okay that is the first thing then ambiguity may arise when the probability of the combined symbol is found equal to another probability in the list okay as we have seen that we actually arrange the probabilities in decreasing order but if the probabilities are same then there may be the ambiguity so we should place the probability of new symbol as high as possible that here we should take while arranging the probability in decreasing order Huffman coder generates a new code word for each input symbol and that is the point we which we should note one more point we should note in Huffman coding that lower limit on compression for a Huffman coder is one bit per input symbol we can achieve the higher compression rate by combining several symbols into a single unit however the corresponding complexity for code word construction will be increased another problem with Huffman coding is that the coding and modeling steps are combined into a single process and thus adoptive coding is difficult if the probabilities of occurrence of the input symbols change then one has to redesign the Huffman table from scratch that is one of the problem in Huffman coding Huffman coding is a technique which is used to compress the files for transmission. It uses the statistical coding. More frequently used symbols have shorter code words. Then it works well for text and fax transmission. Several data structures uses Huffman coding. Now uh, students you have to solve this problem for the practice. In this, you have to encode this following symbols using Huffman source coding technique and calculate the coding efficiency. There are total 8 symbols having probabilities 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 16, 1 by 16, 1 by 16, 1 by 4, 1 by 8 and 1 by 16. Thank you.